Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome. My dress, this, I love this dress with these sleeves. Anyway, welcome to, I was gonna say welcome to September. Happy September, welcome to a Lush Halloween haul. The 2023 Lush collection came out yesterday. As I'm filming this, it's September 1st. I'm trying to also upload it on September 1st, just, you know, to be timely about it. But the Lush Halloween stuff came out yesterday and I went, I picked it all up, not all of it, but a good amount. I picked up a good chunk. I also did a reel on Instagram showing you more of the stuff I didn't get. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's on my Instagram at Amy Lynn Butchen. But today, as usual, we're just going to go through the products. I'm going to read you what they are supposed to smell like. Some of these I've tried before, some of them are new. We're just going to do an old fashioned Lush haul. Remember when I said I was done doing these? I lied. I'll probably always do Halloween and Christmas because I just love them. But Lush has been killing it lately and this is no exception. I bought more than I planned to because I loved the smells of everything and everything looked so cute. Also, I've been thinking about this since last night, but also last night when I got home from Lush, Bradley like genuinely wanted me to show him the stuff. <laughs> it's just really nice to have a husband who like shows interests in your interests and is like genuinely, you know what I mean? But also I think Lush somewhat won him over with the Nintendo collection and then the SpongeBob. He thought the Barbie one was cute. So he's just like, Lush is cool. I'm like, Lush is cool. So anyway, I got a lot of the bath products. They are bringing back the pumpkin sheet mask that I tried and failed at last year. I will link that vlog up in the corner. It was so bad. I also uploaded a TikTok and reel about it and the TikTok semi blew up and I got a lot of comments on it of people who tried it as well. It was so bad. I am shocked to their bringing it back, but apparently it's been like revamped, redone. So I will absolutely be buying and trying that. We can talk about the skincare stuff later because I didn't buy any of it. I figure we'll buy it a little closer to Halloween because their skincare stuff is super fresh and will go bad. So we'll get into all that. Let's just go ahead and start with the haul. Let's start with bath bombs first. Also, by the way, my dog is right here. If you're like, what is that? It's my dog. <laughs> That's what this blob of fluff is. Opening my Lush app as well, so that I can read you, you know, the proper things. Let's start off with an oldie bit of goodie, the Pumpkin Pumpkin bath bomb. It is so cute every year, that just makes me so happy. It's not my like very favorite scent out of all the Lush stuff, but it doesn't smell bad, obviously. It smells good. It doesn't even quite smell like pumpkin spice. I don't know what it smells like, let me see. It says, give them pumpkin to talk about with this uplifting cinnamon, lime, and sweet wild orange oil bath bomb. I'd say that's on the mark. So it is cinnamony, but citrusy. Perfect for Halloween. I love it. Cannot wait to use it yet again. Okay, this one is new and it is super cute. It's a little mummy. It's called J. Jason's mummy, which I don't get that reference. I know Jason. Is that Friday the 13th? Jason is something. Jason kills people or something. Maybe is that that? I don't know. Whoa. This one says, charge this bath bomb under the light, then fill your tub with warm water, drop in the bath bomb, and lie back to enjoy its lovely color and gorgeous fragrance. Charge it with light? Mm, this one is very like subtle citrusy. It smells really good. But I also just think it's so cute. He has the red little beady eyes and he has like the texture of a mummy all around. So cute. But yeah, it's got grapefruit and oin orange. It's got grapefruit and orange oil in it. So I am oh so excited, excited. Okay, I cannot speak. <laughs> excited. I am oh so excited to try it, especially the light situation. I hope I don't forget. Maybe I'll try this one like soon so that my brain doesn't forget. But oh, just so cute, so delighted. I love Halloween, you guys. I've talked about it endlessly in other videos on Instagram, but I've been so anxious lately. And I walked in that Lush store and I was like so anxious to leave the house and then everything melted away. It's like Halloween is here to save my soul. Thank you. This one is so cute and smells so good. Oh my God, it smells, it smells, um, oh. Smells like so white. Let me see if I'm right. Hold on, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Yes, apples. So this is the Screaming Banshee bath bomb in which like, I've obviously heard the term Screaming Banshee before, but I told Bradley, cause I showed this to him. I was like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's called the Screaming Banshee. And he was like, that one is so cool. And I was like, what is a Banshee? And he was like, you don't know what a Banshee is? And it was like a whole five minute conversation in which I still don't really know what a Banshee is. <laughs> I typed in Screaming Banshee and it came up with Screaming Banshee Pizza in Arizona. I don't even live in Arizona. The old Irish word Banshee directly translates to fairy woman. So it's like a mythical creature. A Banshee is said to be a fairy in Irish legend and her scream is believed to be an omen of death. <gasps> How fun. The scream is also called Keowen, which means keening and is a warning that there will be imminent death in the family and as the Irish families blended over time, it is said that each family has its own banshee. Okay, that is fun. 
well, you know, fun in a Halloween type of way. But she is kind of tiny, which is fun. Smells incredible, smells exactly like the So White bath bomb from like the holiday release. So basically just like apples, which smells incredible. Cannot wait to try. Now, oh my God. They brought back probably my very, mm, this is bold. I'd have to go through a lot of old Lush Halloween videos, but this is probably my favorite Halloween Lush item ever. And it is the Bat Art bath bomb. I had to, um, restrain myself. I, I will go back and I will buy so many of these. I love this bath bomb so much. It is glittery and beautiful, which is fun. It releases purple in the tub, which is my favorite color. And I love the way it smells. It says it has lemon and sage oil. It just, I, but like, I don't know. It just, it smells better than that. It smells so so, so good. So I already picked up two. I got two in this bag, um, but I will be back for several more. It is so good. So until I try the other bath bombs, it does stain your fingers black a little, but not your skin too bad. I've never come out of the tub stained. Sometimes I hold the bath bomb in my hand as it releases and that leaves a little bit stained, but like my skin is never stained from a bath bomb. Sometimes the tub is not stained, but needs a little bit of like a clean or a rinse. I know the black bath bombs can be off putting, but like it's worth it. And it's really not that much more trouble. You just kind of rinse the the bath after you're done, at least in my experience. And I've used that in two different tubs because I it came out when we were still in our apartment. I used it there and I've used it here and it didn't stay in either tub. Next, we have the Screamo bath bomb, which this came out two years ago. It looked exactly like the Scream face. Uh, what's his name? White ghost face? Something? White face, that's not it. <laughs> Ghostface, I think is his name. It looked exactly like that two years ago and then last year. Okay, so it looked exactly like the Scream ghost face killer when it first came out and it first came out as a bubble bar. Then last year it had the same look and design, but it was a bath bomb. This year they brought it back, same colors, same scent, which smells really good. It's like a cherry scent, I think, but they changed it a little bit. So he, they must've gotten like flagged for copyright or something. And I, I did think like, are they allowed to do this? <laughs> but yes, it's cherry scented along with ylang ylang and almond. It smells really kind of like mild, but nice. So it's cute. I do wish it was still the scream what is his name? Ghostface? Have I been saying scream face? Whatever, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I think it's interesting. I wanna know the deets on why they changed his face. Y'all, this one I am so excited about. Also, did you notice the SpongeBob bags? <laughs> There's SpongeBob and Squidward. There's Patrick too, but for some reason I don't have any Patrick bags. But I am so excited for this one. This is called the Magic Potion Bath Bomb. And I'm so excited because it has the Christmas Eve bubble bar scent, which is basically just jasmine. I love Lush's jasmine scented stuff so much. It's my Ooh, it, no, it's my favorite scent from Lush. It has to be. Uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is like a very close second, but this just is my life. Oh, I don't know why I didn't buy seven. I just bought one. I was like, maybe I'll hate it. Let's wait and see, because I know I'll be back. First of all, this is beautiful. It's got like gold dusty glitter all over it. It's pink on the back. It has like some blue in it too. It says the tub becomes your cauldron with this crackling bath bomb. I love when there's pop rocks in a bath bomb. It just makes me happy. Filled with real popping candy and a floral sweet scent. So it's jasmine. I think there's like ylang ylang in there too. It smells so good. They discontinued the Christmas Eve bubble bar like at least five years ago. And sometimes they release things in that scent. I don't think there's anything in their permanent line that smells like that. So I get really excited when they release something. But regardless of the scent, it's just really cute and I'm excited, especially if there's popping candy. My fingers are so stained of blue, black, and glitter. I also wanna tell you, I do have a towel down because these things are messy. Okay, and then last but not least is an oldie bit of goodie. And I, I get confused, is this available year round? I don't even know. Yes, it is part of the Halloween line. But this is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. It is so pretty this year. Um, It's just like more vibrant. On the inside, it kind of melts into this like wine color. So it kind of looks like blood in your tub and it just makes it fun. But Lord of Misrule is to Halloween what Snow Fairy is to Christmas. Like they release a bunch of stuff. There's a shower gel, which I think is available all year round. This is a scent that like reading it online, if I was ordering online, I wouldn't order, but I love this scent. It's like patchouli and black pepper. There's vanilla in there as well. It sounds more earthy, I feel like, than it actually smells. It smells so good and so nostalgic. Like this is like an old school Lush situation. They keep changing the way it looks. It's got like a little crown on top and I just love the pink running through it. But like I said, they release a lot of stuff in this scent. So there's the shower gel. There was a bubble bar, which was actually so cute and I considered getting it, but I didn't. We'll get into bubble bars in a moment, but I just have 
so many bubble bars on back stock and those see those last a lot longer than a one use bath bomb um, unless you cut these in half which I do have a whole video on how to save money at Lush I can link that up in the corner but the bubble bar of the Lord of Miss Rule one was so cute it's like a pink little crown but there's also a massage bar a body spray um, I saw it in store yesterday it's super cool a huge four wick candle which the Lush candles are really nice my sister got me the Twilight one for my birthday last year and it smells so good and also there's like a big um, Lord of Miss Rule soap so it's they have a a lot of stuff in the scent if you're into the scent. They take care of you if you like it, but yeah, love it. We'll probably buy another one before the season is over. And I believe they keep this one around until Christmas. I'm not positive. They used to. Okay, so that is it for the bath bombs. Now into the bubble bars, which again, I didn't get a ton, but let's get into the bubble bars I did get. Okay, I'm upset. Hold the phone. Okay, so he's still cute, but this is the bonehead bubble bar, which is just so cute. But on the website, his mouth is black. But none of, I took video footage from my reel yesterday. I just checked it. None of the ones that I saw in store had the black in the mouth. So that's deceiving and upsetting because he looks so much cuter with the little like, you know, skeleton sewn lines. But I love his like wonky eyes. I think they're so cute. It says nothing scary to see here. Only foolish fun and minty fresh bubble mountain. If you don't know what a bubble bar is, they are Probably my favorite thing from Lush. I just think they're very effective and for the cost. You get more bang for your buck, um, but you just will break off a chunk of this, crumble it with your fingers under the running water, and you will get amazing, stiff, nice bubbles that last for most of your bath, not your entire bath, depending on how long of a bather you are. They smell good, they're colorful. And like I said, this is mint flavored, which I've mentioned in other videos, I still am having weird smell issues post having COVID. And peppermint is some one of the ones that like smells nasty to me, but this is spearmint and this actually smells really good. Cause I was so upset looking at it on the website. I was like, no, that's gonna smell bad, but it doesn't. So I'm delighted. Cannot wait to try. I just think he's so cute, but now I'm upset about his mouth. One of my favorite things from last year is back. This is the Bubble Lugosi Bubble Bar. It smells so good. It smells like the Blackberry stuff. So the Blackberry Bath Bomb, one of my favorite bath bombs. It smells exactly like that. Oh my God. I almost got two of these, but I was like, you have a bubble bar problem, don't. <laughs> but he's so cute, I don't get the reference. One of you explained it to me last year and I forgot it. So it says, light a candle and lie back with your arms crossed at the chest, surrounded by blackberry scented bubbles, steam and an eerie glow. Steam, oh he does, oh my gosh, he does totally glow in the dark, which I didn't know last year. I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night to pee scared the crap out of me. I was like, what is that? It was this. So he does glow in the dark. So don't be alarmed. <sighs> Just smells so good guys. And he's so cute with his little fangs and his little widow's pee. And then lastly, I got the pumpkin crumble. This is technically a bubble rune. It's a mixture of a bubble bar and a bath melt, which I love their bath melts. They went away for a while, but now they're back, which I, they had a pumpkin spice one. I didn't buy it, but I, I want to try one of their new bath melts. But basically it's like a little sandwich. So it's two bubble bars on either side. And then this like creamy bath melt stuff in the middle so it's a really moisturizing bath. I read online that this is the same scent as the sparkly pumpkin, which like just bring back this, oh it is, that is totally the same scent. But just bring back the damn sparkly pumpkin. Everybody loves it, it's the cutest thing ever. Bring it back. But this is cute too, it has a little jack-o'-lantern face. It says this has real pumpkin puree in it, so that's fun. But also shea butter and grapefruit oil. It smells really, really good and I'm excited to try it. It's just so cute. It would make a perfect little gift if you have a friend that has like a Halloween or October birthday. So fun. Okay, and that is it for the bubble bars. I did get one other thing from the skincare collection. Like I said, I will be back for more skincare stuff. They have two new lip scrubs. One is the candy corn, which honestly I didn't even smell. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I was so in love with the way this one smelled that I just bought this. And I've learned that I don't need two lip scrubs because I can't use them up fast enough for before they expire because they are made of fresh ingredients. If you don't know about Lush's lip scrubs, they're technically edible. So you can scrub your lips and then just lick it away. I tend to just rinse it off in the sink because dead lip skin, I don't know. I also loved the name of this. This is called Wednesday's Child is full of woe, which is from an old creepy poem. They reference it in the Wednesday show as well. I'll read you the poem. How about that? Now I want to know. I think I was born on a Thursday. Monday's child is fair of face. I was probably born on a Monday. I'm pale as AF. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. And the child born on the Sabbath day is 
Bonnie Blythe, Good and Gay. So a little song there, but it's just to say that like the kids born on Wednesday will have a dark black life. Love it. <laughs> so that's what this is called. I love the purple packaging. It's blue on the inside. I recently did like a bathroom declutter and clear out and I had so many of these that were expired and so I got rid of all of them. So I was excited for um, either just to buy, I love the, um, the popcorn one. Is that the one I like? Or the sweet mint? Maybe they got rid of popcorn. I don't know. I was just gonna buy one of those, but then when I saw the release of this, I was like, let me smell it. And I love the way this smells. I don't even know. Let me describe it to you from the website. I love that I just read you guys a poem in the middle of the video. <laughs> it says, get soft lips in a snap or two, like, you know, Da -da -da -da. with this castor sugar scrub featuring a deep plummy scent. Oh, okay. Sugar plum fairy scented. I don't know, but it smells really, really good. And I'm excited to try it and have it. Um, but I love the Lush Lip Scrubs. I am, I have dry lip skin all the time. This just buffs it away really nicely. It doesn't hurt or anything. And then you just have nice fresh lips. So I would highly recommend the Lush Lip Scrubs in general. And I'll give this one a shot and see if I like the scent, the taste. But okay guys, that is it for what I picked up. Like I said, there is more stuff. A few more bath things I didn't pick up, which again, check out my reel to see those. There's like the fresh skincare. So the face mask, the eye masks, which I will be purchasing both. So stay tuned. I will try them on camera with you. The Mr. Pumpkin Face, I think it's called. Fresh face mask is coming back. I loved that one last year. I will totally be picking it up. But lots of shower gels, shower jellies, soaps, all that stuff. So I will link everything I talked about as well as the full collection down below if you want to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to see a lush Christmas haul when it eventually comes out, let me know. I know it's a little bit ahead of ourselves. I just was in this like, do I do lush hauls? Do I not? I guess it doesn't have to be a yes or a no. I'll just do them when I feel like them, but let me know if there's interest please. So I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. I have some non-Halloween, I mean, it's September, so it's time to get into it. I'm so excited. But I do have like a summer empties coming up and probably some more vlog stuff that's not like totally, you know, spooky Halloween related yet because it is still hot here in LA. It is cooling down though. The anxiety is lifting. The, I, I wished away my anxiety with the full blue moon the other night. Hopefully it worked. <laughs> but yes, stick around for spooky fun. I will have my face somewhere to subscribe as well as some videos you might enjoy. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in a new video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.